Okay then. So, how exactly do you build a robot, especially in such a short time? Well, I've been taking pictures and a bit of video here and there. Well, first thing is kickoff. And people give you the kits of parts, and all the pieces that you're going to need to build the robot. And also some basic lectures, how to do simple code and whatnot, or like uh, mechanics, electronics, things like that. I think we're using LabVIEW. So this is all the pictures of the uh, all the pictures of the kit and what comes in it. All the electronics, the computer hardware, all the uh, mechanics. The chassis. So after that comes the fun part, designing the robot. So we look at the previous robot we've had, what parts we have for that, the kit that we have, the layouts of the uh, the layouts of the uh, game, the rules of the game, and we try to think of all of that and see what we can do to uh, design something and the same goes with code when you know someone designs mechanics someone needs to design the computer code for the electronics because a robot is just integrated with all of that so well, I'm saying, okay, I want it to move, I want to load, and I want to shoot a ball. These guys have got to learn how to make it move, how to make it load, and how to make it shoot a ball, ball with computer code. So that's pretty much it. Just recycle pieces, look at the rules, and see what works. Next comes disassembly. Taking the old thing apart and seeing what we can use. This is just a reference for scale. You guys around my height, which is 5'7", so yeah, that's sitting on a table, but <laughs> that thing is, was huge. So here people are like cutting the, uh, cutting the zip ties, holding the wires. Like, you can see right here on the like uh, right here, all these had to be cut, all the wire, you didn't really have to unplug anything. You could do it. I pulled out all the electronics by themselves, all I had to do was unplug the motors. And here's all the electronics laid out. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. This uh, red piece right here, that connects straight to the battery. So it goes from there down to this giant fuse box which you know, is like uh, it's like an outlet for uh, plugging more in more plugs into a wall outlet yeah like a outlet strip it's the same thing but with a bunch of wires the fuses are just there so the thing doesn't you know short circuit and then blow everything up so all of this goes to different places these go straight to the motors, and then the motors connect back to this computer module right here. And this is where all the sensors and everything connects. So there's one motor, there would be the other, here's another, and I, I believe this is the fourth one. Here's the light to tell whether it's on or off, just plugged right in there. There's where the, I believe that was a camera. No, I, I, I didn't find out what that was, but all the sensors connect to this gray piece right here, which draws its electricity from right here. As you can see, the wires just trace them back. Uh, let's see, yeah, the rest is just powering everything. You can't, like, take a car battery and connect it to your cell phone. You do that, then you're crazy. You need to take a car battery, connect it to an adapter, 
and then connect that to your cell phone so it doesn't send uh, 12 volts, you know, a lot of voltage into something that's only meant to take uh, 3.5 or 5.5 because that's too much. So that's what we got on the robot so far. Hopefully this video isn't too uh, rambly. Here's a, another video with the design of it. <laughs> now that I'm thinking it's just a long video. And more footage of the robots in the back. And a kid there just playing uh, computer codes. So, that's what I got for the robot so far. <laughs> but, uh, it is a lot simpler than looks. At least to me it was. You know, for everything that moves, it kind of needs a sensor so it knows how much it's moving. Because otherwise you have a giant piece of steel. And it's moving and it's not being controlled. Uh, that's the electronics. The computer code is if electricity is sent here to the motor, then the motor must move this much. And the mechanics is obvious. You just design what's... Uh, mechanics is a lot easier because you can physically see what you're doing. Because you know, if it can do this to pick up something, that's great. That's what you need. So all those three things, mechanics, electronics, and computers, have to be communicating and talking. Because you can't build a computer code for a completely different type of robot, have an electric circuit that doesn't go with a computer code, and have a mechanic that doesn't even do either of those. Well, you don't even have a motor to lift an arm or to shoot a ball. Well, that's what I got so far, and take care.